Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power BI tutorial step by step series. You are watching 7th episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can work with the date table inside the world of Power BI. Date table is again a very important aspect. So far whatever relationship tables we have created, it is not created based on any kind of date column. So now in this episode, first of all, we will learn the technique how to create continuous date filter inside the Power BI and then how you can apply the relationship on any of the date column and customize the visual you want. So without further delay, let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So without further delay, let's get started. So here I am on machine and this is the report that we have built in our previous episode. Now let's just customize this report in a little bit. In the previous episode, we just showing the uh, revenue by year and basically we just take the date column from our sales table and revenue from this particular column. Okay, currently I do not have any date dimension table in my data model. So if we look at our relationship diagram over here, we have sales table, geography table, product table and manufacturer table. Now let me create one date table inside the Power BI and for that you just need to click on home option and from that there is an option called new table. Let's click on that. As soon as you click on new table, basically it will ask you the formula to create the new table. Over here, to create the new table inside the world of Power BI, we just need to simply use a function called calendar function. In that, first of all, you need to supply the start date and end date. So let's say for an example, over here, I'm just supplying my start date as 2014, 2014, 0101. So I just want to create my uh, date table starting from 1st January 2014, to uh, let's say date of 2023-0101 okay so I just want to create the date table with this particular stuff so let's just use this formula and now let's hit enter as soon as you hit enter basically it will create one date table for you and this is how your date table will look like over here all right. Now, even if you go on to your data view at this point, you can see that it is showing you all the dates over here for you from 2014 to 2023. Okay. So it's showing all the dates over here. Now, the thing is that here I need date. I do not need date time. So what I'm going to do is simply going to change the data type over here from date time to date data type. So let me just change it to date over here and basically now it will show the dates only over here. All right. Now, the thing is that many times there is a need in our report where we need to create a date dimension table. Specifically, this is the requirement come across in the scenario where, you know, you want to show some time series data to your customer. At the time, you know, sometimes what happen is, let's say here in sales table, I have a date. Okay, but this date in not a continuous format, maybe let's say for an example, if Saturday and Sunday, there is no sale, then probably that date is not captured into this particular database, right? At the time, even, you know, you want to show that time based analysis into your report that, okay, for all the date, you just wanted to show the complete sequence at the time, you know, if you have date table at the time, this, this makes your life much more simpler. You can do many calculations on your date table. Now, again, date dimension table is very, very important. Sometimes, you know, in your Power BI report, you are referring different, different dates into different table. Let's say currently I have this date into sales table. Similar way, just assume that I have the similar date column in here as well, uh, which is considered as a sales date or maybe a manufacturing date, right? And let's say for an example, on top of your report, you just want to apply only one date filter. At that time, you know, you need a date relationship column, which is commonly you can use across all the table to filter out your data. At that time also, the significance of the date table become higher. Now, simply what I'm doing here is dragging this date column with this sales uh, date column and let's see what it come up with. So as soon as you drag this column, this is how it looks like. So this date column is creating the relationship with sales date column over here. And the relationship is one to many relationship over here. Let's click on save and let's see how it looks like. So my relationship with the date column has been established successfully. 
Now, let's go to our Power BI report and check our visualization. So, you can see now the one of the visualization where we have used this time and dimension which is being spoiled a little bit just because we have used this particular date column over here from our sales table. Okay. Now, remember one thing. Whenever you use date relationship and you know whenever you establish the date relationship what happen here is in whichever table you point it out so let's say from uh, from our uh, date table to our sales date column we are establishing the relationship right so earlier it was showing as a date hierarchy over here the hierarchy will be removed from here so as a to uh, to overcome this problem basically instead of pulling the date column from your sales table we just pull it from our main date table because now date table has full fledged hierarchy so let me just do one thing in this particular chart right now the way i am bringing up my date column over here let's remove this out and let's bring this date column from the newly created date table and this is how it simply looks like now even if you just make it bigger this is how it looks now and you know whenever you uh, do any kind of drill down so you know it open up the uh, different kind of hierarchical um, um, drill down as well so let's say if you want to do drill down to the next level click on this uh, dot so it just highlighted over here now click on the chart over here so you just go by quarter at the end let's say if you are going into quarter 2 it shows the different month and let's say even when you go inside it you can see the detailing around that as well okay so this is how simply the date filter in the power bi looks like okay now the thing is that we created our main uh, dimension uh, date table over here and let me just rename my uh, uh, table name as simply the date table over here so in formula i'm just changing over here that okay my table name is now date okay so i'm just changing this out and this is how it looks like all right now the thing is that now my new model is ready i am just having date dimension table as well and i am creating the relationship between the sales table over there okay now one more important thing that okay now moving forward let's say if you don't want to use this date column or you don't want to confuse yourself that we, whether i should use this column or not you can simply hide this column over here as well so it's not deleting the column but it just hide it so you know no one uh, unintentionally just use that column out uh, you know while building up the report okay so you can always uh, use uh, that kind of technique for for yourself and uh, you know use this thing out for your self all right so this is all about the one of the small uh, use case which i just wanted to talk about the date filter in the power bi so that's it for today hope this video is valuing your time and you learn something new from me if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any paid training the links is available in the description box check out my website for my upcoming training schedule with this this is ruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye